Hi Box Buddies, this is Jeannie with Batman's Boxes. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you a box I packed for a two to four year old girl. And this is a Barbie Baker theme box. And when she opens her box, this is what she will see. And right on top I have a little chef hat. And to go with her chef hat, she has, and I did leave the cardboard on, but I'm probably going to take this off. But she has a really cute pink apron. Also that came with her apron and her chef hat or is a pot holder, um, a mitten pot holder, and then just a small one. She also has this really cute little frying pan and I did find this at the Dollar Tree. There were some food items in there and I did take that out. Um, she has a rolling pin. She has a wooden spoon, a spatula, and a small whisk. And a, um, I don't know if it was the end of last year or maybe the beginning of this year, the Dollar Tree really came out with some cute stuff. Um, I did buy this small blender uh, that is not battery operated but it does move um, she has a mixer and you push the button and this will turn she has a small little toaster I gave her a small cutting board but the I, this box was packed for a while and um, one of the reasons I've been holding on to it is because I couldn't find uh, one of the items that I was desperately searching for and I, I mean for months and I finally found it I think it was last week at one of the Dollar Trees by my house but it is the magic kitchen sink and I will show you this is what it looks like um there's a couple of different colors but it comes with um, you know utensils and then a dish drainer, it comes with a sponge and um, this little bottle of um, dish detergent and it hooks up. But I think one of the reasons why I just had to have this was because it, it really is a magic sink because it works. And if you take the tube and you put it onto the faucet, and run it down this little, let me see if you can see that. Run it down this little hole here. And then you connect it right here. Oops, I pull the other side out. But anyway, you connect it right here. You fill up the basin and this will actually pump in real water. It is the cutest thing and it took forever for me to find it. So I was really happy that I finally found the magic sink. And this is what it looks like when it's all put together. It's really, for $1.25 is one of my favorite dollar store items. I gave her some pretty jewelry. I think this was a four piece set, maybe five. She has a heart necklace, uh, a heart ring. She has clip-on heart earrings, and it also came with a heart bracelet. And I did include this bangle. And for her little outfit, I gave her a pair of little leggings that I got I think last year I've been holding on to these for a while I was originally going to put it in a Minnie Mouse box but I decided it would go well with this box and just a regular uh, red shirt that I ironed on love I think I got this uh, probably Dollar Tree I haven't uh, seen any new t-shirts come out in Dollar Tree I have had this Barbie for probably two years. Um, so I, like I said, I did build this 
box a little bit ago, but I was waiting to find that sink. And um, so I did put the Barbie Baker in here. I don't know if she sits down. Oh yeah, she does. And I did leave the rubber bands in her hair and also the pot and her little spoon here is uh, rubber banded to her hand. And because she is a very fancy chef, maybe in Paris, I gave her the poodle, Gigi, and I made Gigi her own little baker's hat. Maybe Gigi's gonna topple over. I gave her a Barbie puzzle, and this is what it looks like. She has her pencil case and standard school supply stuff and pencils and things like that, but I decided to give her this eraser because every baker should have a timer. Oops. She has a foldable backpack, and I'll take this tag off. I just, um, it's just a, I'm sorry, not a backpack. It's a, a tote bag. Did I say tote bag? I think I did. And she has a pair of socks to go with her cute little outfit. And also a pair of undies. And I did give her this kitchen um, play mat because every baker needs a kitchen. So I did laminate that for her. Let's see if it'll stand up. And then to go with that, there are a bunch of um, stickers that came with it. She has some crayons and her little soap and soap saver. And I gave her this little fella because it might be take your child to work day. So he might be learning how to be a baker with his mom. I gave her this folder. Um, I could not find any bakery. Um, coloring books so I did print out some ratatouille and these are really cute so I kind of made her my own and there were a couple of other little um, not ratatouille you know animals with baker hats on I think that's uh, Paddington bear or something like that and she has a couple of sticker sheets. And I gave her some music ones because the kitchen might have some music going on while they're baking. And some of these. Um, not really sure why I gave her the cute bug ones. Because no matter how cute they are, I don't think anybody wants bugs in their kitchen. So. I also gave her this Apple um, bag of rubber bands and I don't know if it was Denise from D Rogers or Trish from Bird Feed or maybe both of them that showed these uh, I think a Dollar Tree haul and um, so I thought these are really cute I think they're really cute anyway they have a banana one too it's adorable so that's her hair rubber bands I gave her a princess scrunchie and also a cherry ponytail holder. She has a half composition notebook. And I did leave the packaging because it has like a little kitchen here. Maybe her little sous chef friend or take child to work day. Maybe that's his little kitchen. I gave her a cup and I'll show you what's inside but here she has her comb toothbrush and spoon she 
he has a little bandana that I thought looked kind of chef bakery bakery baker ish and of course she has to time her food and her cakes and whatever she makes so she needs a watch she has a small washcloth and a purple bounce ball I'll put that back in there and a comb to comb her Barbie's hair might be getting too far out there and she has this little Melissa and Doug uh, noisemaker maybe when dinner's ready she can call everybody Or she can use her little jingle bell bracelet I made her. I saw this lady on YouTube. She actually used a hair tie and some elastic string to make jingle bell bracelets. And they, they're really cute. Um, Uh-oh, maybe that's not going to work so well. <laughs> I might want to rethink this. I'm going to leave that in. I'm not cutting that out because that's kind of funny. Um, normally, like I said, I don't put food in here, but I did leave this in here and you guys maybe you want to tell me what you think about it. Um, these came with, I think the cutting board. Um, but I like these because they came with a knife and it actually teaches hand eye coordination because you can cut these. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Should I leave the fruit in, uh, or take it out? I was kind of on the fence. The other one was like a hamburger or something, so I definitely took that out. Oh, and um, these came, these cookie cutters, but I forgot the Play-Doh, so I'm gonna add some Play-Doh in here. These cookie cutters came with um, her uh, baking set. And she has a little clip-in braid she can wear with her red outfit. And when her kitchen is all clean and she's winding down for the night, she can make herself a small cup of tea. And there's another teacup over there that came with the kitchen sink. But that is my two to four Barbie Baker. This was probably one of the most fun boxes I've done so far. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.